Hello, my name is Debbie Church. Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I wanted to do a makeup tutorial today where it was kind of all about the base of your makeup, like your foundation, concealer, all that jazz. I felt like a lot of the stuff that I was going to show in today's video were things that I've shown in a lot of previous videos. So I was like, what can I do to make it different? And I saw that Jaclyn Hill made a video that was all about how to make your makeup last all day long. And a lot of the products that she used were products that I didn't have. So I went out to Sephora and Ulta and tried to buy as many of the products that I could find. Obviously some of the products I had to like improvise if that makes sense, but a lot of the products I either had or had to buy. So I wanna try it out. I'm starting this off in the morning time. I feel like the way that I do my own personal makeup isn't necessarily for longevity. I do it for just feeling really good and if that means doing some touch-ups throughout the day, then that's fine. Maybe I'll have a new way of doing my makeup, who knows? But I thought I would try it out and let you guys know how it works for me. You know, feel free to subscribe down below. You know, please subscribe. Freshly cleansed skin, you know what? Freshly uh, cleansed skin, I have that. Thank you. Can I get a zoom in this bitch? I'm using my favorite primer, which is really expensive and totally unnecessary, but. So I actually couldn't neither afford the Sicily primer or couldn't get my hands on it. So what I got was the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I think it kind of does the same thing. I think it does the whole gripping tacky thing. So we're gonna try this one out. If you don't have the right techniques and do the right routine and use the right products, it doesn't matter how good your primer is, it's still gonna slip away throughout the day. That's I have the Dr. Brandt Pores No More primer that she's talking about. So she said to put it on her T-zone. So I can do that. I can definitely do that. I only do this on the T-zone because this is the only issue where I see pores. It's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is not tech medium to I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty sponge. Once again, make sure that it is damp. It doesn't want to be well. When you are applying it with a damp sponge, you really want to make sure that you're pressing. I mean, let's not be like too rough on your face, like beat the poo out of yourself. <laughs> it's really getting into my pores. I do use a magnetic mirror so I can see really closely, see if it's settling anywhere. And I really just sit there and focus on just jamming it into my pores. <laughs> We're going to go with concealer as always using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Make sure if you want long lasting makeup that you are not using something that is too creamy with too much oil in it. I definitely prefer. That's the thing about me. I really do like creamy concealers. They feel like it really gives a nice fresh look to the face. And I have tried the Shape Tape uh, Concealer, but it was, I want to say two years ago. I, like, I feel like it was a really long time ago and I didn't like it. So when I went out to go buy all of these products, I actually got like the little tiny guy just because I was like, I don't wanna spend my money and if I don't like it, you know? If she's telling me that this is the long lasting concealer. This is in the shade light medium neutral. So hopefully this is a good color for me. It does, moves around in my fine lines and my wrinkles. So I like to use something a little bit more full coverage. All right, now we're just gonna go in and blend all of that out. Okay. You're dreaming, laughing, sneezing, gagging, pee. <laughs> I basically look up because I want to make sure that I get that product really into all those little crevices. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. This is what I use to set my under eyes. It's what I've used. Please help. Okay, I'm going to blend this out. Something that's creamy. That's why I love the Tarte Shape Tape because even though it dries pretty matte, going on it feels so creamy she's like don't use anything too creamy but you make sure you use something creamy <laughs> but i know what she means i'm gonna use the lightest shade in the palette and i'm gonna put it on my sponge shade so my right here uh, so right. set it i also do this because just using a little bit of powder underneath your under eye is gonna make it so that your under eye concealer does not move So I have discovered recently, you guys have seen me talk about this a million times, this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So the Sephora by my house didn't have that powder, unfortunately, but they did have this Marc Jacobs uh, Finish Line Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder, and I've heard that this one isn't like too drying. If you are more on the normal to oily side, I would suggest the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. For now, I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge again. I'm gonna just hit it right there in the Hourglass Powder makes it last longer throughout the day. Pressing it all into the skin. I'm in Starbucks right now. Does it, does it look, do, does it look too powdery? No, it looks smooth. It looks like it's like porcelain. Like, yeah. am I a doll or what? 
Okay, let's keep going. Dry, 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 dry. I love that Morphe setting mist. It just smells good. To go back with your damp beauty sponge and just go over those areas, you would be surprised how well this works. Okay, we're dry. So I don't have the Morphe bronzer, but I do have the NARS Casino bronzer. It's this shade right here. Face. Since I know that I'm gonna go in and be baking today, I will allow myself to be sloppier. If I knew that I didn't have time to bake, then I would be much more precise in going in with a different brush. But I know that I'm gonna be able to clean up, so I don't really care. Now that we have bronzer on the face, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to bake. Baking is a crucial Baking. part. And so I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder right here. Okay, I don't have the Cover FX Setting Powder, but I do have the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Powder, so I'm hoping that that works as well. Here. Same sponge that I've used the entire time. I'm gonna start right up at like where my tragus piercing is, like right there by my ear. I'm gonna make this really full coverage because I wanna be able to take it off and have like Whoa. a perfect, beautiful contoured line. I gotta shape up the rest of my face. She said the sides of her nose as well. I will say I never put this much powder on myself. Okie dokie. Now that we have a little bit of a Santa Claus beard happening, let's see what she has to say. Okay, so now I'm going to slap on my eyebrows and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I blacked out and did a little bit more than my brows, as you can tell. Okay, so she does her eye makeup and her eyebrows off camera. I'm gonna just do them on camera really quick, you know. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. Now, I have a new uh, mascara combination that I've never tried before, but this is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Primer. My friend Ghouli told me that this is amazing. If you've made it this far, you'll get to see if this is good. Okay, that is the Marc Jacobs Primer. Ooh. And on top of that, I'm trying another product. This is the Kush Mascara by, Mil by Milk Makeup. And I thought, you know, just like while we're here trying new things, let's see. What do you guys think? Does this look clumpy, good? I can't really figure it out. I don't know if it's the mascara or if it's the primer. I don't know. I can't figure out if I like this or not. I can't figure it out. Do I love it? Do I hate it? What? Let me know what you guys think. Let's continue. You don't have to leave your bake on for that long. You can take it off, honestly. Two minutes is about enough, but I have noticed the longer that you leave it on, the more intense you are going to have results. I'm gonna to toss on some blush. I'm gonna go in with blush. MAC Cosmetics Peaches. There's I'm gonna do Warm Solo by MAC. When you think you're done, do like one more layer because blush does tend to fade so fast. So once we think we're done, one more layer. I love this MAC Warm Soul Blush so much. It just makes me feel really confident. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that same Kat Von D powder from earlier. Kat Von D and powder. I'm going to bring it from the corner down and just kind of swoop it towards the blush. Oh shit. And you'll see the difference between this side of my face and this side. This is just gonna bring a little bit more light and almost like a filter effect to the cheeks. It's also gonna lighten up the blush just a little bit if you can see the difference. It's like a veil. Can you see it? Can you see it? I don't put it on the chin. You'll see it's bring a little light. Can you see that? Places that I place it. I'm gonna leave the nose alone because I already contoured my beak. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my forehead right between my brows and swoop it upward. Again, if you are feeling a little bit more of the Charlotte Tilbury powder in number two. I can't find my number two, so we're just gonna have to work with number one. And just stamp that. Ooh. And then she said to blend it out. 
clean it up. I'm gonna go with my Lancome Absolute Powder. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my face. I'm not gonna hide. I looked everywhere for the Lancome Absolute Powder, but they did not have it at my Sephora. But I'm gonna use Global Glow by MAC. It's a pretty, well, it's not like a natural highlight, but it's definitely not like a blinding highlight. Highlight intensely today. I'm only gonna use this powder. I'm gonna put it on the apples and then the apples. drag it down. I'm really gonna keep this highlight really, really simple. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of put it everywhere. We went lower on her cheeks, so it's like covering up all of her blush and her bronzer. So the highlight has been put all over the face. I'm going to spritz my face one more time with the exact same setting spray. If you want to make it pop even more, you can go back in. With more highlight. And be a lot harder, and it actually looks really natural. If you want to press that into the skin, again, I don't want it to be too intense. Press it in. Okay, let me throw on a lip in my bottom mascara. Okay, I'm going to do that too. I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut Lip Liner. And then another new product that I bought was, this is the NARS Orgasm Lip Tint. And this is a new, I don't know if it's limited edition, but it's new and I really wanted to try it. I just felt like the color would be really pretty. It doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't smell like anything. Wow. I love this lip combination so much. I'm gonna keep you. I love it. Okay, wow. Is that it? I think that's it. Hold on. That is it for this. Okay, so the makeup is done. I'm gonna wear this throughout the day and, you know, live my life. I have errands to run, people to see, things to do. See if it stays looking like this. I will admit, here's that close up nobody asked for. How's everybody doing? You know, this is definitely the most powder that I've ever worn. Subtle layering of powders. I think it looks pretty good. We will check back in. Yeah, we'll check back in. And before I go any further, I do wanna give a shout out to Jacqueline Hale. If you're watching, I doubt you are, but if you are watching, you have always put a smile on my face. Jacqueline Hale Cosmetics, I will definitely be buying a lot of your products. I'm really excited about that. But yeah, let's hope that we have a good day. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be right back in, in, in a few hours. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be right back. Don't miss me too much. Don't miss me too much. Okay, we are back. It is, what time is it? 11.26. It's been almost 12 hours since I've had this makeup on and it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks, it looks really good. It's a little patchy right here, but my friend and I watched Someone Great and that movie makes me cry. Like I get so like, <laughs> and you know, I really like this technique altogether. The only thing is that I didn't like the Shape Tape Concealer. And I knew that I didn't like it, but I thought I would give it one more chance, but I just feel like it made my under eyes look so dry. I was like looking in the mirror and I'm like, I look crusty dusty. <laughs> but other than that, everything looks really, really good. So I definitely recommend trying out this technique. You know, if you're gonna have like a long day at work or if you're going to be going somewhere that's hot, you might as well just try it out. You know, what's one day gonna do? Yeah, I really enjoyed filming this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like the video, let me know that you like these kinds of videos. Oh so, yeah, it is always a pleasure. I hope you guys have a good day, night, afternoon, morning, whatever time zone you're in. Bye.